Okay, when you open Mac 3, this is the screen interface that you look at as a 1024 set. I'm going to load my particular screen here, which is the laser dial screen or screen set. And now here, you see that I included an image of a laser dial and I modified the buttons. I put the laser turn on and off. This is the power slider. And I modify all these buttons to be bigger so I can push on them on the touch screen. In this video, I'm going to show you how I did it, how I created the image and how you can include it on the screen using the screen editor to place the image and modify the buttons. Very well. So one of the first things I had to do is take a picture of my laser dial with my phone and I imported it into the desktop here in the computer. You can see right here. So now I'm going to use the program Krita is a, a free source program that you can download and learn to draw and to do your or make your thumbnails with it or whatever. Uh, this is a free program. You just have to download it. However, it's got a kind of steep learning curve. It's used by people that like to do digital drawings. And I do practice digital drawings on it sometimes. So I'm going to open a new file here and I'm going to select it as my drawing practice there. But actually, maybe I need to make this image not too big. So I'm going to make it uh, from, I think, maybe 300 DPI or pixels by 400. And 50 let's say that and I'm gonna create it now that I have the document here and I'm gonna import the layer from the desktop so this is the image that I was telling you about and it's there now let me kind of move it a little bit maybe strain it out there and I'm going to select kind of like the background around it and I'm gonna delete it so I'll delete that and I'm gonna deselect now I'm going to come here with the brush now you can use the mouse for this uh, like right now I'm using the mouse but since I do drawings I do have a pen tablet and uh, it'll be a lot easier to to draw something or modify it or you know with the pen since I'm already used to it so that would be easier doing it this way so what I'm trying to do here is just uh, I want to get rid of all the whatever is on the edges there if it's a white see if I come here and undo the background now you can see that uh, it's only the image of the laser there which is uh, showing. Now I can accentuate these colors and maybe paint them. If I use uh, like a brush, I can grab maybe red paint and I could paint over the, the wire here to make it appear more accentuated. I can change color here, maybe there. You know, you can change it that way if you want to. You can maybe do a little more contrast here on this wheel if you want and and see I can see a little bit of uh, garbage right here on the bottom that I don't want so let me go ahead and erase that now since I do some drawings I'm kind of used to this uh, but if you never use this stuff, probably it's gonna feel a little bit overwhelming at the beginning until you kind of learn it. Anyway, this is just to show you uh, how the process of creating. Now I'm using a picture here, but uh, you can actually create something from scratch, right? I don't know, something like that. I uh, can come here, 
filter, adjust color curves, really give it a little more light. There you go. There you go. I'm gonna export this as a PNG. Save it as laser picture. There you go. All right, so I got the laser picture here. All right, so another thing that I have to modify a little bit is the background from Mac 3. Actually, I can grab it from since it's that and on the folder there, I can actually grab it with uh, with Krita. So I'm going to create a new file. This time I'm going to select the drawing practice so it'll select the 1920 by 1080 and I'm going to create the, the document and I, I'm going to import a layer import layer from the folder here the XP bitmaps mill bitmaps and that'll be the background main now I have to like make it the same size here maybe now as you can see it's got the tool information, the feed rate and the spindle speed. And I don't want that spindle speed there because what I want is actually just a big, the image of the laser. So I'm going to pick this color here and I'm going to just select a rectangle and I'm gonna fill it with the foreground color. And it's gonna fill it up there. All right, that's uh, what I needed to be modified. I'm not I'm gonna leave alone the feed rate and the tool information there okay so now I'm going to import another layer laser picture and it's right here I'm gonna move it with the move command here all right and we're gonna set it here that that would be part of this screen but right there Okay, before I export this image, I need to make the document size conform to the image size. There you go. Now I can export this image and it's just gonna have the aspect ratio that I need. So I don't have to mess with it when I incorporate it into Mac 3. Very well. Now that I got the image, let me go to Windows XP. As you can see, I got the 1024 set here. Okay, so now let me open the Mac 3 screen editor. It's this one. And I got the 1024 set open here. The one we're gonna modify. So what we're gonna do, first of all, let me save this as main. <laughs> Laser dial modify save it as that okay now I'm gonna select the background first and I come here to the properties window the image path is gonna be mill bitmaps background main JPEG if I double click on that it's gonna show me the place but before I do that I have to move it from the folder I forgot that this is a virtual box so I got it right here on this folder I had to first of all move it from this folder to the uh, Mac 3 main folder on C drive. So, and as you can see, it's the picture that we just saved. And let me show the folders here. I'm going to go to Mac 3 to bitmaps, mill bitmaps, and we're gonna have to put them right there. Let me go ahead and refresh just in case. Main laser picture modify, and we're just gonna open it. And there you go, that's the picture included here. Now, you see a bunch of buttons one on top of the other because we need to organize them here and move them. This, that button, let's move it, let's position a little bit better there. There you go. All we gotta do now is just probably re hit the reset button, just move it to another place. And of course you can refine this as much as you want, probably uh, use the tools that we have here to make him one line if you want it's kind of your preference but this is just to show you that 
the way to create an image and, and set it on the main screen there. You can do anything you want. You can put uh, your picture, picture of your face there if you want. That's how you do it. Okay, so we have to make sure we save the file. And then it's already saved. Right? And let me go ahead and uh, refresh the screen here. View, load screens. And there will be main laser diode modify. And we'll open it. There we go. Now we got our image right here on the spindle. Oh, I didn't modify the spindle um, button there. I should put the laser. So let's do that. Let me go ahead and, and kind of select that button and right here on the properties will come to text on on control. And we're gonna save this as laser. Laser. There you go, that changed the name on the button. And let's save this. Now let's go back to our screen here and refresh or reload the screen. Main laser dial modified, okay. And there you go. Now we got the laser button here flashing. <laughs> fully functional anyway this is the way that you can put any picture or any graphic that you might create yourself or download or modify put any picture you want and just move the buttons make them bigger smaller whatever so this is pretty flexible uh, the good thing is that you can download the Mac 3 screen editor from the internet. I should put a link down in the description. And once you have it, then you can do these sort of things. Now, I want to include probably this picture or my original picture in a file there. So just in case you want it, and along with some buttons that I created on GIMP, so you wanna just um, use them, you can just download it. So I'll put a link on the description probably through a Google document sharing thing somehow. So I gotta find out. And if you wanna know a little more about modifying your screen sets or maybe modifying your machine, you can check out my other videos. And, and if you wanna subscribe to the channel, well, thank you so much for doing so. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.